Well, Diddy's mom, Janice Combs, recently broke her silence on her son's arrest, saying that this is what she calls a public lynching of her son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence. But people are telling her that she should probably not be giving a statement because the things we have also seen about her are quite questionable. I'm not making an excuse because I believe in those people shouldn't have went through what they went through. But at the same time, judging Puffy, he might have some going on when he was young, you know. Mama ran a whole house. There was all kind of activities in there. And he was there when he was young. He might not, some of those men might not want to teach him how to draw. I mean, like there's something else flying in that land, that land besides that paper plane. You know? <laughs> in fact, some sources have even reported that Janice could be complicit in some of Diddy's crimes, and the feds are allegedly already on her neck. And guess what? This time, even Diddy's sister Keisha is not being spared. Also, if Janice is insisting that her son is not a monster, why am I getting reports of Diddy's goons harassing the people who are coming forward? Apparently, he is still as powerful behind bars as he was when he was outside, and he's got people on the outside who are threatening accusers and making sure no other big shots are exposed. Honey, before we even get into what's going on with Janice and the rest of the family, several sources are claiming that accusers are out here being th for bringing their cases forward and that everyone is still scared of Diddy even with all the evidence that we have already seen. A source even told People, he's so powerful. Everyone was afraid to cross him. Even though he's behind bars now, he's still so powerful. We all knew it even back then. Everyone always chalked it up to being a creative genius when it comes to his obsession with controlling things. He's incredibly smart. He knows a lot of people and he's helped a lot of people. So a lot of people owe him. He knows that. According to The Insider, Diddy is capable of a lot. Much more than people think even now. Basically, the scary thing is that Diddy is aware that a lot of people in Hollywood, not just in the entertainment industry by the way, owe him and allegedly he's holding this over their heads, which is why some of them are already acting. You see, Tony Busby, who's representing 120 accusers and spearheading multiple lawsuits against Diddy, said that many high-profile celebrities were reportedly trying to discreetly settle before their names publicly came out. A lot of people uh, allowed it to go on, said nothing, didn't intervene, maybe benefited from it, profited from it. Uh, all of these individuals and entities, in my view, have exposure here. He also mentioned how his law firm is planning to sue A-listers, but was also giving them the opportunity to settle with the plaintiffs, adding that a few of them have already opted for a settlement, saying, in every single case, especially cases like this, we collect our data, evidence, do our due diligence, spend time with the accusers because it's in the best interests of them. We attempt to resolve these matters without filing a public lawsuit, and we've done that already with a handful of individuals, many of which you've heard of before. Apparently, he has already issued demand letters informing celebrities, including Diddy, of legal consequences for alleged criminal activities and said that he won't be dropping any names this week and he wanted to ensure that before exposing anybody publicly, he did his homework and was definite about their involvement. But when he does drop names, he said it will spark a firestorm. I'm not sure if these high-profile people have also been silencing and accusers, but there have been several reports claiming that Diddy's goons are threatening accusers, which is why people are saying that Diddy's mom Janice should not be out here making statements about how her son is not a monster. In case you missed it, Janice Combs released her statement through her attorney, saying she was profoundly saddened by the allegations her son faces and asserted that he deserves a chance to prove his innocence in court. She also said in the statement that it is heartbreaking to see her son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. Janice also referenced that hotel video of Diddy and Cassie, adding, I'm not here to portray my son as perfect because he is not. He has made mistakes in his past, as we all have. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten rough with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. The statement then continued and said, sometimes the truth and a lie become so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of that story, especially when the truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to be believed. This is why I believe 
believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. Watching the world make jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. It is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his side. In her statement, Janice also suggested that people were making false allegations in order to secure a quick payday after seeing how her son settled the first lawsuit. What Diddy's mom was saying was that the federal government is now using these lies to prosecute her son, adding that the injustice has been unbearable for the family. She also said that the worst part of this ordeal is watching her beloved son be stripped of his dignity not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe about him. Then she further called upon the public, as well as her son's fans and supporters, not to rush to judgment, saying, My son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. I mean, it doesn't look like Janice herself wrote that statement, right? People are saying that this was just written for PR, and for her to say that she would like to see her son vindicated when she is still alive is just a ploy to pull sympathy. Remember a few months ago, Janice was rushed to the hospital after she complained about discomfort in her chest, and it was unclear exactly what caused the pain. Diddy was in Miami at the time, and at his mom's request, he went to the hospital to be by her side. Apparently, Janice believed the pain was related to stress over her son's legal woes, including the federal investigation and multiple civil lawsuits. Based on reports, the doctors were keeping her hospitalized for further testing and observation, and sources said that Diddy was there with her because he was her comfort, so maybe she thought that pulling the sick card would make people sympathize with Diddy. Unfortunately, it's not working. And after releasing the statement, Janice was bashed by a lot of people on social media, saying that they strongly believe she contributed to Diddy being in the position he is in. For starters, this video of Diddy and his mom kissing started making rounds on social media, with a lot of people saying they found it very weird, especially at Diddy's age. In the same video, Diddy was also saying that his mother is single and ready to mingle, and because of that, he takes her to strip clubs. Then if you look closely, you will notice that Diddy and his mom are hooked to IV fluids. The same thing Fed said happened after a wild night out at the Freak Offs. When the authorities arrested Diddy, the list of indictments included the Freak Off events slash parties, which are described as elaborate and produced performances that Combs arranged, directed, mapped, during and often electronically recorded. Also in this section, they alleged that Diddy was luring women in by promising them true romantic connections. Then, after gaining their trust, he allegedly used force, threatened them with force or coercion to have them engage in lengthy intercourse with male workers. Afterwards, the women would allegedly receive IV fluids to help them physically recover from them. Allegedly, there were also rumors that Diddy's mom was also spotted in some of the tapes that were recovered when the feds raided at Diddy's home. Something else is that Janice was also the one raising Diddy, meaning that she saw Diddy's behavior start long before he became who he is today. I mean, we had several women who attended Harvard University with Diddy telling Rolling Stone that they saw signs of a controlling personality decades ago. The women who went to school with him said there were incidents involving unwanted touching and fits of rage on campus by Diddy and women he was interested in. One woman actually claimed that she kept as far away as possible from him after he caressed her back without warning. Another former student also said that Diddy flew off the handle after she called him out for cutting the cafeteria line. A different person also gave a story about how Diddy would repeatedly a young lady by tapping on the window of her English class to get her to skip class. Then another anonymous woman said that she witnessed Diddy outside of their dormitories screaming like a maniac for his girlfriend to come outside. The source added that shortly after, Diddy was heard and seen jumping his then-girlfriend outside, literally roughing her up with his belt. The woman also added she was trying to defend herself a little bit. She was crying, and we were telling him, get off of her. We were screaming for her. Girl, some of these stories definitely go to the mom. But what did she do? Speaking of Diddy's behavior starting a long time ago, there have also been reports that Diddy even struck his mom across the face. I spoke to Kirk Barrows, and uh, he told me some shit, bro. <laughs> it's, some, it's some things that I didn't even know about way back in the past. You know, like when the City College tragedy was going on and everything, and Diddy was on suicide watch. You know, Kirk Burroughs was like, yo, man, I should have saw, he told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? And Kirk Burrell said, yeah. I just thought because of what he was going through with the, you know, 
the tragedy, sh it was like, I, I, I was stuck on stupid for a minute, but he was like, yeah, I thought that he would grow out of it or it was just because all the he was going through when he slapped his own mother. Then Gene Deal also talked about how he heard Diddy curse at his mom and he told her to shut up. And he apparently to rough up Diddy if he talked to his mom like that again. When he cursed out, we was getting in a limousine. This is when the office was on 19th Street and 5th Avenue. He said, didn't I tell you to stay out of my motherfucking business? He was talking to his mother. And I said, boy, let me tell you something. If I ever hear you cuss your mother again, I'm going to beat the shit out you. You ain't going to bring nothing to bad luck to us. Don't you ever cuss your mother again. Gene, but I told her to stay out of my business. You wouldn't have no business if it wasn't for her. I'm not playing with you, man. Now you need to apologize to her. Add on to that the allegations that Janice ran a house when Diddy was just a child and exposed him to similar things he did while he was an adult. So yeah, people were just like, no, that sympathy card is not gonna work here. For all we know, she could be one of the people f***ing the accusers. At this point, people are even saying that Diddy's sister should also be investigated because they literally cannot trust the entire family. For those who don't know, Diddy has one sibling named Keisha Combs, who has opted to stay out of the limelight. Like, Keisha has deliberately chosen to lead a private life away from the spotlight and there is limited information available about her. But some people are saying that just because she is private, it doesn't mean that she didn't see what her brother was doing. Anywho, you know what? Let me know what you think of Janice's statement. And while at it, drop those thoughts on A-list celebrities settling before being exposed and Diddy allegedly sending goons from prison to accusers in the comments section below.